What's happening guys? What we're gonna do is demonstrate how to install our PowerFlex on a Gauntlet 30. The procedure I'm gonna show you can be done exactly the same way on a Gauntlet 2, 25, or 22 cal, but we're gonna use the 30 only because that's the one I get the most requests for. So this is a brand new 30, fill in the box. We're gonna go ahead and take it out of the bag. And the, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking off this tank shroud so that we can get that off. We're gonna get that bottle out so that we can install our new power flex. If we have the Allen's one on the bottom and we have one on each side of the barrel. We use a power driver. And if you notice, we have a piece of cloth tape here and that will become evident once we get to the each side of the barrel. Okay, another piece of prep. If you have your gauntlet 30 cal and you have anything on the M slot rails, either on the bottom or on the sides, remove all of that so that this is just a plain shroud. They'll take, again, we wanna make sure that the rifle is degassed, nothing is in it, and it is unsafe, okay? So at this point, what we wanna do is we've taken those screws out. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the barrel, the tank shroud. We're gonna be modifying this somewhat. And I'm gonna go through that with you. We're gonna unscrew our stock bottle. Now in these particular tank shrouds, there's a piece of foam typically inside and that's to keep the bottle from rattling in there. We're gonna need that space. So we wanna take our fingers and just get that out of there. Try to get it out in one piece if you can. Okay, so I've got as much of it out of there as I can. Now we're gonna come the modification. If you look right here on these little brass inserts that are inside the tank shroud, those things can really jam you up if you were to slide your tank, your new tank in. These brass inserts will scratch the carbon fiber as it's being installed. So what I like to do is I like to take a piece of, a small little piece of black cloth tape, such as this stuff here. All it is is a sticky one side cloth tape and we just cut little tabs and we're gonna cover the brass. Okay guys, to give a better illustration of what these look like after you clean them up and sand them, if you notice now, that brass is below the plastic. It does not stick out. That's important. You don't want any of that brass sticking out of these holes. So take a look at that, guys. That's what you're looking for. And all I did was use a, a hand file like this and file those down so that they were below the edge. And then you go ahead and put your tape on. So let's continue. So that we don't have that uh, metal surface that can damage our bottle. I had three little tabs there. There's one on the top, like that. And all I'm gonna do is take a pair of scissors and we're gonna cut the excess off of those so they're flush. Okay, at this point, we're good to put the Flex Combo on. Flex Combo comes from us on the carbon fiber bottle. It is a 5 8 thread. Now, it's 5 8 not an M18. Special bottles that uh, we had made. This is our flex reg that uh, can be set for up to 3100 PSI. So that gets introduced. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna put the bottle on as tight as it'll go, right? So fully seated so that we get a good idea of where it's put. That's fully seated right there, tight. So we're pretty lucky on this one. All we've got to do is turn back a little bit like that and it's lined perfectly. This tank shroud will go on a little tighter than the stock one, okay? So when it goes over the barrel, 
and now it starts to come over the bottle. This is why it's important not to have any M-Lock uh, accessories on here because as you can see, this is gonna go on pretty tight. I'm trying to do this on camera, but know that what I normally do is set the rifle on its buttstock and then slide these two together. What you don't want to do is squeeze this because that just gives you more tension. So you want to grab the edges and push straight back. And as we get right here, we'll engage these two tabs and now we're on. We're going to turn this over so we can see where our fill nipple is. And what we're going to need to do is typically it's right in the center of that M slot. But again, it depends on when you tighten yours and backed it off. Sometimes they end up a little forward or a little back. So at this point, what I like to do is just take a Sharpie and mark dead center. So I know where I have to make my, my drill so that I can get that hole big enough so that we can use the extended fill uh, adapter. So now that we have that, we're gonna pull it off. And again, try not to squeeze this because it'll make it very, very difficult to get off. So always pull on an edge. Okay, so now we've got that off. We're gonna be drilling that out so that we end up with a three or seven eighths. Seven eighths is what we want that to end up being. So what I typically will do is I use one of these very bits, start right there and shoulder it down all the way down to the 7 eighths, all the way down to here. Boom. Once that's done, you can use your extended coupler. Okay, so we've got our, our very bit here. And again, because we know where the center is supposed to be, all we're going to do is drill that out and shoulder it all the way down to here. And I like to start just the way you saw me do it. Get it right in the center like that. And work it right down in. Like that. Pull all the little filings out of there. We're just going to take our deburring tool just to clean up the edges. Like that, okay? Now our extended uh, fill collar will be able to fit right through that and get on the uh, fill nipple that's on the bottle. This guy here will go right on now with no issue. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back on. Now obviously at this point, you could probably set your regulator so that you have access to this, but I'll show you what I do is once we put it on, get it back close to where we want it to be. Okay, so like this. You can pull that back that far, and now you can get your wrench on here to make your adjustments. As you can see on this side, that's where you'd see your gauge. And you can use this to get your regulator output where you want it. Once you've got it where you, where you want it, you can now just slide this guy on permanently. Line up the tabs, it slides back, make sure that this is aligned the way it should be. We put in the two top screws. And again, I use a power driver with very light setting. You don't want, I always start them by finger, by hand, so that you can't strip them out. They're brass, pretty easy to cross thread this. You don't wanna, you don't wanna jack that up. over that last one gets put in now okay we're all set here line that up here's our fill extended fill so we can you can reach it when you're trying to clip it on that's now clipped you can fill your rifle 
bottle pressures on this side, regulator pressures on that side. You fill your rifle, comes right off. There you go. That's how to install our PowerFlex setup. Thanks a lot, guys.